everyone. Thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world as you know. Today I'm doing a video about soulmates, how to attract a soulmate, what we can do to bring that special person in when we're desiring love. And as a single person, we get stuck in our ways. Maybe we've been single for a long time or we may have been holding out for somebody for a long time and then we realise we want somebody to come in now. So there's some things that we can do to make that happen quicker. So wherever you are on your journey, if you're wanting to attract love right now, I'm going to give you some great tips. So... One of the first things that can really bring a, a lover in is to actually set their intention out there to the universe. The amount of times we think we want love, but then we contradict it with the things we think, the things we say, and the things that we feel. How many times have you done that? You've said to the universe, I'm ready. I'm ready for love in my life. But then you start moaning about the other sex. You know, oh, well, men, you know, what men aren't very good anyway, or I don't need one, you know, or whatever you say, whether you're, you know, in a straight or a same-sex relationship, if you want to attract a lover in, you know, how many times have we done that? And I know I've been guilty of that, saying to the universe, I'm ready. I'd love to have a wonderful person in my life. And then I hear some people moaning about their relationships and I think I don't actually want that at all. So you're setting conflicting intentions to the universe. So if you want to attract a soulmate in, first of all, get very clear that that's exactly what you want. The second thing is make some space in your home. The amount of times as single people, we have all our stuff exactly as we want it and there's no room for anybody else. And we don't realise that our home creates everything. It creates the space for what we want to bring in. So if you've got your wardrobe just rammed full of clothes and you don't wear most of them, it might be the time to donate to charity. It might be the time to get a suitcase out and put the clothes you'd no longer wear into the suitcase and put them away. Free up some space. Put some hangers in there with nothing on so that you're saying to the universe, there's room now. There's room for somebody to come in. In your bedroom, make your bedroom love ready. That means take out devices that bring things in that stress you out, TVs, computers, exercise equipment. Take all that out of your bedroom. Take down any photos. If you've got photos or canvases like paintings of any single people, um, any depressing things, any water pictures, take them out of your bedroom. Make sure your bed is love ready. So if you've got a single bed, that's just saying there's only you that's available now. So bring in a double bed. If you've got a king size bed, downsize it. Because if you've got king size, there's too much space and there's only you in there right now. So you need to make it cozier. Bring some love in. Bring a little bit of red into the bedroom. You don't need much, just a hint. I do it with an undersheet. So, you know, just like an undersheet um, to bring love in. If you have too much red in there, there'll be too much fire energy. And you need to make it about yin and yang. Make sure you've got two side bed, like bedside tables either side of your bed, which creates stability, doubleness, coupleness. Make sure you've got a headboard behind your bed because that promotes stability. If you've got lamps, make sure you've got two. Make sure you've got two of everything. Two boxes of tissues by the bed. You know, if you've got uh, little um, figurines, make sure they're in pairs so that you bring everything in as if it's two of you now. In the bathroom, make sure it's, it's you know, it's, it's friendly for someone to come in. It's not just full of cold, like a lot of icy blue colour. Make sure you bring a little bit of flowery energy in. Maybe put some flowers in your bathroom. Bring in some light. Open the windows. Open the blinds. 
open your doors and allow some energy to come in as well and then go around your house and look at what's in your room if there's something you don't like it needs to go it's about falling in love with your home so many times we have things in our home we don't actually use or we don't love or care about we just have stuff everywhere and now's the time if you're wanting to attract love in to have a mass clear out and get rid of anything you no longer love anything that's taking up space if you've got stuff everywhere then how can you bring somebody in you know if you've on your sofa if you've got teddy's one side and a place where you sit there's no room for anybody else if you've got books everywhere and there's no room to bring anything else in get two coasters make sure that you know when you're having your dinner at the dinner table there's not just one chair bring two chairs in you know you can even go as far as putting out two placemats or, you know, you, when you have your dinner, put another plate there. It's about visualisation and using the law of attraction. And the most important thing is to send love. Be loving. Be kind. Be generous. Be compassionate. Be kind and loving to everyone you meet. Send love out there. Just know that love is all around you. And look for the signs as well. If you're asking for a soulmate and all of a sudden you start seeing couples everywhere, you start seeing people kissing, holding hands, doing things together, having fun, laughing and joking, don't see it as the universe having a joke with you and saying, well, why haven't I got that? See it as a positive because the universe is showing you a preview of what's to come. And if you're setting clear intentions that you want a lover to come in, you want someone to come in that you can share your life with and do things with, and you're contradicting that by not being grateful, the universe can't offer to you what they want to bring in. But if you're being excited and you're seeing couples and in your mind you're saying, yes, that's coming to me, I'm so excited thank you universe I, I, i'm so excited to meet this person then opportunities will flow in and people say to me all the time liz how can i meet somebody i don't go clubbing anymore i don't go out anymore how am i going to meet this special person if you're putting intentions out there, the universe will guide you and show you what steps to take and it will be repetitive. Trust me, if you're meant to meet someone, you'll meet them, whether it be in a supermarket queue, whether you walk past them in the street or you run into them at work, you are going to come into contact with that person. Just make sure you're awake and aware, you're not too busy on your mobile phone when you're walking around so that you're paying attention to what's going on around you so that you don't miss opportunities that may have to come back around at a later date because you'll come together at the right time when you're meant to and if someone's meant for you they'll be for you you can't miss each other you know there's divine timing and divine intervention involved in this but you can give it a helping hand by putting intentions out there and if you're a twin flame watching this and you're holding on for your twin flame, then still do everything that I've just talked about because it can only bring blessings in. It can only bring goodness in. And if somebody else comes along on the way while you're preparing for your twin, then what a beautiful blessing that will be. Somebody that will come into your life as a soul teacher to teach you things you may need to know right now to prepare you for your twin. And that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It just means that you're following your steps that you're being guided to take, that you're open to love, that you're feeling love, you are love and you're ready for love because you are liquid love. You are love, pure love walking around having a human experience right now. So you deserve the best and know that. Know that you deserve love, happiness, joy and pure bliss in your life. You deserve the world. So if you're always giving to others, giving, giving, giving your time, your energy, your attention, maybe, just maybe it's time that you allow somebody to give that back to you. And right now, the universe wants to bring something magical into your life. So open your arms to receive. 
I hope this helps. Have a magical day and I'll see you soon.